So let's talk about the special case equimolar counter diffusion that you can have, for example, when you have a cylinder which is half filled with bromine gas and the bromine gas diffuses out and is being replaced by air diffusing in. So you have this general equation here and you have the diffuser part, the diffusivity times the concentration gradient, and then you have the convective part. And for equimolar counter diffusion, what happens is that the same number of mole that diffuses out must also diffuse in, right? So for each bromine molecule that diffuses out, one air molecule must diffuse in. So Na must be minus Nb. So the same numerical value, but different directions, so different signs. What happens then is that the entire parenthesis disappears, so there is no convection. And you get the simple equation here, Na equals minus diffusivity times the concentration gradient, and we can integrate that. And then you get this equation here that Na equals the diffusivity times the difference in concentration divided by a distance. So what does the concentration gradient look like? If you think of the cylinder and then you have only bromine gas down here and then less and less bromine gas coming up, what is that concentration gradient? Is it a linear one? Is it bent in this way? So like that or is it bent in the other direction? Is it bent like that or that? So, so pause here and try to figure out which one is correct. Did you manage to figure it out? But what kind of equation is this? Well, it's a linear equation, right? So the concentration gradient must be linear. So we know that in this case we have 100% uh, bromine gas somewhere in this container and then you have zero in the surrounding air as it's a linear equation the concentration gradient must be linear there is no other way so option two and three disappears that's not possible so let's do an example uh, looking at two containers both containing gas one with only ammonia and one with 50% ammonia and 50% air. And your task is to calculate the initial mass transfer rate, assuming that the temperature is zero degrees, which means that the diffusivity of ammonia in air is 1.98, 10 to the power minus 5 square meter per second. And you can assume that the pressure here is 1.013 bars and the tube length between the two, uh, that that is 0.1 meter. So pause here and try to calculate this yourself. Okay, did you manage? It's not that difficult this one, it's rather straightforward. So let's say first that, well, yeah, you the mass transfer of ammonia, you could also use the mass transfer of air because it's just the same thing, but opposite di direction. But let's use uh, mass transfer of ammonia. That's the diffusivity times the concentration gradient uh, of the ammonia. And we, as before, that can be integrated. And we have the thing with concentration and we have gases. How do we deal with that? Well, we use the ideal gas law and say PV equals NRT and concentration is N divided by V. So concentration is also P divided by RT. So the partial pressure of ammonia divided by RT is the concentration of ammonia. So we take the diffusivity divided by RT and the difference in partial pressure and divide that with the distance. And we put in the numbers and we get 4.4 10 to the power minus 3 mole per square meter and second. So that was equimolar counter diffusion.